everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I am participating in the DIY floral challenge hosted by Heidi Sanbel and Domer Home. Let's get these ladies to a thousand subscribers. You guys, YouTube changed their policy and you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 minutes viewed in order to even monetize a video. So let's go over and give these girls some love and get them past a thousand subscribers. Good luck, Heidi and Lindsay. So you know me, I'm always inspired by Pottery Barn decor, but I cannot stand Pottery Barn prices. So I'm going to DIY the heck out of this wreath. And it might just be in mini form. So this is Pottery Barn's version, and this is my version. Eh, not too shabby. For this DIY, I'll be using a bobby pin, a little nest that I got it from Hobby Lobby last year for around a dollar. These bushels of wispy purple flowers I got at Michael's as well as a bushel of ferns. Both together were under six dollars. I'm going to hook this nest with the bobby pin just for a little extra stability. Put a little dollop of glue on there and stick it in my wreath. <laughs> Hold it till the glue sets and we're done. Now I'm wiggling off some of these branches from this fern and I'm trimming them down because I'm making a mini version. I don't need a giant leaf. So I am sticking it in where I want it and just gluing it down. And to put these in, I'm just tucking them in underneath the previous wreath to um, hide the stems. And I've got a little glob of glue there. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to keep going around the fern, just tucking it in underneath and gluing it down to secure it. Now it's time for the purples. I'm taking each little individual purple flower off or bloom and um, gluing them on individually. But I've decided to take that other fern leaf off. It was just a little messy, so I'm cleaning it up and putting a new leaf down perfectionism guys. Now it's time to just glue those little individual purple wispy flowers down and I like to uh, stick them in there so that they're just kind of flying all over the place. <laughs> they're wisping out and doing their wispy thing. Doing their wispy thing. So far so good, but we're not done yet. Pottery Barns had moss all over it, so we're gonna add some of that as well. To do so, I'm just putting a teeny tiny bit of glue and taking teeny tiny pinches and sticking them into the glue and calling it good. So here is how it turned out and I think it is just adorable. I love that I did it in mini. This is just a six inch little wreath which gave me enough product left over to make a second wreath. Now I made the second wreath just like the first wreath but I just made it more full and I didn't add a, an egg to it. And this is what I did with it. This six inch wreath fits a Walmart candle perfectly. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to go check out Heidi's channel and Domer Holmes channel. And thank you so much for watching.